Hi there, welcome to our series on logical functions. We've already looked at the function if. Let's take a look at another function. We'll call that if error. And that's basically what it suggests. If there's an error in a particular data set, so we're going to specify the test, then return a particular value. So what do we mean by all this? Let's look at an example. We've seen this now. Here's our club data. And we have the names of all the students in the club and the number of shirts they'd like to order. Now, what if accidentally one of the students created an error in this cell? And let's say you have so many students and so many different types of data that it helps to have a function to flag whenever there's an error. Well, how do you go about flagging that error? We can create a column called entry notes and begin with an equal sign followed by the if error. Now the value is the cell D2. We're going to be able to copy this formula down so it continues to reference all the cells in the column, column D. If there is an error, please return the value check entry. You're informing the student to check the entry if there is an error in cell D2. And so there you go. You have check entry that comes up. Now, if there was no error, then it would simply return whatever cell that you reference. So given there is no error here in cell D3, we should expect the cell G3 to return the number 2 because that would match the cell D3. So let's copy this formula right here. Again, a reminder, you can click on your keyboard, Control C as a shortcut. In this case, we've already copied it. And let's click the next cell and say Paste Special Formula. In that case, just as we predicted, the outcome is 2 because there is no error in cell D3. The if, -s if error function does come in handy, especially when you have a massive amount of data and you need to clear certain errors. This is a great way for you to translate those errors into another value that you specify. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you next time.